Connie here I'm doing my weekly vlog and today's vlog will be a TTC vlog and I started my fertility cleanse today Yay! Um, and it's gonna be a 30-day cleanse <clears throat> I talked about the fertility kit cleanse in a couple of vlogs early uh, prior to this and um, I'll put the link below if you wanted to hear a little bit more about that but um, I'm not getting paid to talk about, I don't sponsor this kit, um, this cleanse kit at all. Um, I'm just doing it for my own benefit and I did pay for it with my own money so just wanted to put that disclaimer out there. But yeah, so um, it's recommended that we try not to conceive while I'm cleansing um, because this is supposed to be a cleanse to prepare the body for conception and so that's kind of unfortunate. But, you know, I think my husband and I are going to baby dance nonetheless. So, anyways, I'll keep you posted on how I'm feeling as I'm cleansing my body, cleansing the reproductive tract, and, yeah, so excited about that. Um, but today I wanted to tell you something else that I've been doing um, to try to boost my fertility, and that is castor oil packs. And so I'm going to be looking at my laptop here that I have in front of me um, just to so that I don't leave anything important out. But the benefits of doing a castor oil pack for fertility are, and I'm just going to go down the list, increasing circulation, aiding in detoxification of the liver and colon, improving digestion and elimination, calming inflammation, relieving pain, breaking down scar tissue, adhesions, and fibroids. That one I thought was really important for women who might have had lap laparoscopies, um, have endometrial scar tissue from endometriosis, um, any, any other sort of like tissue and it, um, scar tissue um, that might have accumulated in the uterus. Um, <clears throat> and also natural, uh, naturally speeding the healing of vaginal infections, and for men, increasing it increases um, the sperm count, um, and also clearing mucus congestion in the fallopian tubes. And the benefits of castor oil pack real castor oil packs really go on and on. Um, they've been it's been used for thousands of years as a healing remedy um, for helping to detoxify the liver and the internal organs. Um, when you know you apply the pack externally it just improves circulation um, and it's good for like arthritis and colds and even constipation I mean the list goes on and on and so um, I thought and I was really surprised to find that um, castor oil packs were used for fertility so um, <clears throat> I wanted to show you um, the things that um, are needed to do a castor oil pack and, um, you want to get a high quality castor oil and the one that I got is by um, Heritage Products and it's called Palma Christi Castor Oil. Palma Christi is actually the name of the castor plant and that's where the oil is extracted from and you want to try to get um, pure cold pressed castor oil. Uh, don't ask me why, I just hear that it's um, the better one to get. Um, and mine is a 32 fluid ounce one and then you want to get a heat pack or a heat source of some kind this one is actually just a really simple um, it's filled with rice uh, my mom made it for me and basically it's just like a cotton material that's been sewn together with rice um, inside of it so it's kind of like uh, like a bean bag. It, it sounds like a bean bag and it feels like a bean bag and what I do is I heat this in the microwave for about two minutes and it gets surprisingly hot and ready for use. Um, the other thing is just you want to have like a, a big sort of dingy towel that you don't really use and you want to lay that underneath yourself so that um, the castor oil doesn't get, oops, there's some dirty socks on the side. Um, so the castor oil doesn't stain your bedding or your sheets. So you want to have a big towel underneath. Some just a dingy towel will do. And also want to remind you to wear clothes that you don't mind getting dirty because um, it might get some castor oil on it. And like I said, castor oil does um, stain. 
And then you also want to have just like a regular plastic bag. And <clears throat> finally here, this is my castor oil pack. See, So I like to just um, kind of move my castor oil pack from, you, you want to um, also get the liver area which is on the right side of your body, right underneath your breastbone, um, near your right rib cage. Um, that's where your liver is. And then I, I tend to put that on for about 20 to 25 minutes and for the rest of the time I will move the castor oil pack down into my stomach and navel area. Basically how I uh, made this <clears throat> castor oil pack was that this was actually a um, uh, a pillowcase that I just cut in half. So this is where I cut it right here and you want to make sure that it's been washed many times. You don't want um, a new pillowcase because it's going to have probably some dyes and some bleach and some chemicals in there. Um, so you want to have washed it a few times and make sure that it's really clean. And what I do is I just fold it over like this and then um, I put it over my uh, body. <clears throat> and then basically after you have um, soaked your, your pack with castor oil, now you don't want it dripping wet. Um, Mine is not as um, soaked right now because it's been inside of this mason jar. Well, it's not really a mason jar, it's just a big glass jar. Um, it's, been, it's been stored in there and so um, it basically kind of tends to like dry up a little bit um, when it's just kind of been sitting in there. So um, every time you use a new, every time you do a castor oil pack, you want to, you can soak it um, each time you can soak it a little bit more with the um, with the castor oil. So you want to soak it, but not have it be like dripping. And so <clears throat> what you do, so after you've soaked your castor oil pack, you want to heat up your heat source. Um, and I just this is the way I do it. A lot of people have different methods of doing um, all this, doing a castor oil pack, but this is just the way I do it. Um, some people use like a heating pad. I don't like to use a heating pad because you have to like deal with like um, the electrical cord and all of that. And it t just it just is troublesome for me. So I just like to use this. Some people like to use a heated water bottle. And for me, um, after I've soaked this, I put it over my um, liver slash belly area. Um, if it doesn't cover it, cover both. Um, completely like I said just move it down so you could start with your liver area and then um, for like 20 minutes and then the rest of the 20 to 4, 20 to 30 minutes you can move it down um, your your belly and your navel area um, so then I'll put the heated um, uh, bean sack over the um, the, the flannel pack. What I forgot to mention is that you want to put the plastic bag over your castor oil pack and then you want to take your heating source and put that over um, the plastic bag. So basically you're down here, your belly, then it's the castor oil pack, then it's the plastic bag, then it's the heating source and you just and then with the clean towel, um, like a small clean towel, you want to maybe put this over it as well again so that this is just to make sure that um, the oil doesn't get all over the place and you just sit you just sit like this I mean well actually you lay like this you, you're probably gonna be laying in bed um, I just I lay pretty much I'm naked from the waist down um, and I just find that it's easier and you lay like this for about you know 40 45 minutes so um, yeah that's what I do and you want to at least have the castor oil pa oil pack on for at least 20 minutes um, but for the most benefit I would say lay there with it for 40 to 45 minutes and it's just a time to relax so that's basically what I do and yeah and the other thing is you can use your castor oil pack you can use your castor oil pack like 25 to 30 more times and then you could just store it in a glass jar 
it might fit in a glass jar, like a mason jar smaller than this. Um, I just happen to have like a pretty big jar here. And you could just store it. You don't have to put it in the refrigerator. I just store it and put it under my bathroom cabinet. And, and then after about um, 30 uses, you want to maybe discard that and then start with a new um, flannel, cotton flannel or wool flannel, whatever works. One more thing is that I like to use the castor oil pack um, several times during the month. So when I start the castor oil pack, it's going to be usually five days after the start of my period. So pretty much at the end of your period. It's actually beneficial to go do the castor oil pack three days in a row and then three days off and then three days in a row and just keep doing that and then you want to stop you don't want to do the castor oil pack at all at least five days before the start of your next period. You don't want to do the castor oil packs, packs while you're on your period. Um, always start the castor oil packs after your period. So I hope that was helpful for you ladies. Um, if you were interested in giving it a try, let me know how it went. Um, this is just an extra thing that I'm doing to boost my fertility. Again, I'm not a doctor. <laughs> I don't know if it's really going to work, but I hear great things about it. Um, Google it on the internet you know there's tons of information and um, yeah so wishing everyone out there lots of baby dust and I'll catch you later bye we all know that the I mean the sperm has to swim through the